Check one, two. Go! Curious about real estate? Yes! Then you've come to the right place. Get the knowledge you need. Get over the fear and get started. Hello. Hello, this is Ryan. I'm calling to speak to um, Donald. Yeah. This is Donald. Yeah. Hi, Donald. This is Ryan. You spoke to Alex on the phone about your interest in selling your house. And I was calling back to verify that all the information we have is correct so that we can come to an agreement to purchase your property. Is this a good time? Yeah. Great. And in case we get disconnected, is this phone number the best number to call you back on? That's the only one I got. (laughs) Okay. And for your email address where we can email you our offer to purchase your house, I have it at gmail.com. Yes. Thank you, Don. And you did call us because you have a house you're hoping to sell, yes? Yeah, I need to sell it. I'm moving in two weeks. Wow, you're moving in two weeks. So let's that's fantastic. So let's see what we can do to help you with that. And we're definitely looking for another house to buy right now. So let's see what we can do to help you, okay? Okay. And the property is not currently listed with real estate broker, correct? Nope. Okay, and the address of the house you're hoping to sell is 1929. Yeah. And that's in Indiana? Yes. Uh-huh. Perfect. Thank you very much. And it looks like we would need to assume about $5,000 worth of repair costs and work or upgrades that a lender may require and that a future buyer will ask to be fixed. Donald? Huh? You, it looks like, uh, according to our information, we would need to assume about $5,000 in total repair costs and work or upgrades that a lender may require and that a future buyer will ask to be fixed. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay, and that's no problem at all, Donald. We buy houses in any condition, from the ugliest to the most beautiful house on the block. We do buy them in an as-is condition, and we don't ask our sellers to do any work or repairs at all. After we buy your house, we will be the ones who pays for all the repairs or updates. Okay, and uh, you said that the only reason that you need to sell the house is because you need to move in about two weeks? Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought I had a couple of buyers, and nobody's got back to me, and there's one guy said, yeah, he wants it, don't pay me cash for it, and... Never called you back. And I'm running out of time now. Hmm. So this is for a new job? No, I'm retired. Okay, okay. So let's try to get you out of there, okay? So, and you said you had a couple of buyers already um, or offers. So what have you done so far to try and sell your house, Donald? I just had a sign down at the end of the my driveway, and I've had a lot of people come through, so, but, yeah. You know. A lot of offers, but nobody really serious enough, serious enough to contact you again? Yeah, so far, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, do you have to sell this house in order to buy the next one, Donald? No. You know you? Okay, then that makes us the perfect buyer for you because we're not looking for a house to live in. We can buy your house and close on the date of your choice. And with that being said, Donald, when would you say is as soon as you would be able to sell your house and close escrow by? Well, I'm see, I'm leaving the 22nd of, of this month. So if we can close escrow on this house by the 22nd of this month, that will be okay for you? That would be great. If you can close it this week, that would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you would definitely be able to close in the next 20 to 30 days then. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm moving to Vegas, so I'm not going to be able to come back. <laughs> okay, you're moving to Vegas. That's quite a difference from Indiana. So uh, what really. are you going to, not really? Okay, so what is it going to, what, what's going to happen if it doesn't sell to us? Donald, what are you going to do with the house, and how is it going to affect your plans? Uh, well, I'll try to turn it over to a real estate agent and go from there. I'd rather sell it before I leave, but 
Okay. So far, um, things haven't worked out. <laughs> Well, we uh, we can definitely help you with that. Have you considered simply renting or leasing it? Yes, but I would rather just uh, because I'm going to be a few states away. away. Okay, and, uh, so you'd rather just sell it. Right. Okay. I used to own rentals, and even when I was living in it, sometimes it was. Uh, a nightmare of collecting rent. Uh, I can imagine. And it looks like in, in its current condition, the house is worth about $77,000? Yes. No, that was an FHA appraisal. So. That was an FHA, FHA appraisal? Okay. Yes. So I know you say you really don't want to list it with a real estate agent, but, Donald, are you aware of how expensive it is and all of the costs? involved with selling a house like yours to a traditional buyer, including the costs of real estate broker commissions, monthly mortgage payments while it sells, several months of holding costs, and then that's not including all of the buyer's lender requirements like repair costs, pest inspection, roof certification, and on and on. In order to sell your house, it could cost you, the seller, 10 to 20 percent of the sales price. So let me ask you, Donald, about how much would you say it would cost you to sell this house to a traditional buyer? Oh, I have no idea. It, I know it'd be several thousand dollars, so, you know. Okay, and to be honest with you, Donald, most home sellers are not aware of how much it costs to sell a house. Um, and there's no mortgage on this house that we would need to pay off, correct? Nope. Okay, so, Donald, let me tell you a little bit of. There's no mortgage and, and no liens at all, right? Yep. Perfect. So, Donald, let me tell you a little bit about what we do. We buy houses like yours all the time, and we pay all of the costs, things like real estate commissions, title insurance, escrow fees, transfer tax, termite clearance, roof certifications, and the list goes on and on. And we buy them in an as-is condition, so we are going to assume the responsibility for all of the needed repairs, whether we have seen them already or not. And one of the positive factors about selling us your house is that you or whoever is living in it can stay in it for as long as you need to, and we can get you your money on the date of your choice. We will pay cash when we buy your house, so you can have the peace of mind knowing that it's old not only sold, but sold to someone who can afford to buy it because we don't have to rely on a bank to qualify your house, nor do we need to beg them for a loan and risk them changing their minds at the last minute. Believe me, there's nothing more frustrating than seeing a deal break down in escrow, and that is not going to happen to you. Isn't that really what you want? That's what I want. Great. So I can't, um, offer. I can't refuse. <laughs> I will <laughs> I will definitely make it make an attempt to make an offer that you cannot refuse. And it looks like you were hoping to um net in your pocket after all repair and update costs have been considered and after all of your seller's closing costs have been subtracted, sixty thousand dollars. Is that correct? You're gonna give me sixty thousand? No, I asked if that was what you were what you were hoping to walk away with. Yes, I'd love to get sixty thousand, but at, at this point, don't make me a decent offer. Okay, and we are paying all of your closing costs to sell. So sixty thousand the lease that you'll take. Uh, well, I might go lower, but you might go lower. I can get sixty thousand. That would be great. Okay, and um. Well, we don't like to throw out unfair numbers, so knowing that we're also going to buy your house as is and pay for all the necessary repairs or updates the house may need, is that the lowest that you'll go? Uh, I'd take 40000 for it right now. You said you would take 40000 for it right now? Forty. Forty. Okay, and knowing that we're going to buy your house now and take all your worry and stress away along with holding costs, waiting for your house to sell, can you help us by lowering your price a little bit more? How much more? <laughs> well, would you consider thirty-eight thousand dollars, Donald? Thirty-eight thousand. Mm-hmm. When can I have a check? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say when can you have the check? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, once I once we come to an agreement on uh, on a price, what I would do is I would send you out a purchase agreement. Once you sign it and send it back, we'll open escrow and we do write escrow out for 60 days. But there is a way that we can uh, mark. Um, the, I'll let them know that you need it to be done sooner, and I can mark a little box on the purchase agreement that says or sooner, and we can get it done as quickly as possible, and you'll get your check as soon as escrow closes. Okay. Okay. So, Donald, are you saying that at $38,000 you are committed to selling your property to me today? Yes. Yes? Okay, so... If I can get an approval for the purchase price of $38,000, you are ready to sell your house to us today, correct? Correct. Okay. Well, Donald, um, I would like to move forward and buy your house. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm very confident that I can get approval for the purchase price of $38,000. So um, when would I be able to receive the purchase agreement back from you? Uh, you're going to email it to me or? Um, yes, I can, I'm going to email it to you so you'll get it with probably in about within five minutes from the time I send it to you and I will send it to at gmail.com. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. So, the, and then you can print it out and then you can either fax it or email it back to me. My fax number is actually the same as my phone number and I will make sure it's in the email, Okay. I don't have a fax machine anymore, so. You don't have a fax machine. So um, what what would be the easiest way for you to send it back to me? I mean, we would be able to move faster if you were able to scan it and email it back to me or fax it back to yeah, me. I, um, I can yeah, send I can it to you. to you. You can email it back to me? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So, and you would be sending it back to me today? Yes. Perfect. So, Donald, give me about 20 minutes, and I will send you the purchase agreement. Then if you can go ahead and print it and then scan it and email it back to me, and we can open escrow as soon as I get it back, okay? Okay. All right. Congratulations on selling your house. Donald, I'll contact you shortly um, after I send you the purchase agreement to make sure that you received it and to verify when I can expect it back, okay? Okay. Thank you very much, Donald, and congratulations again. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. Get more info and stay in touch 